and welcome to another book haul for this month. Recently I have got some books in the mail that I have collected all together and I just wanted to do a video to share them with you guys. So the first item that I'm going to show you isn't a book as such but it is book related and that is the booktuber t-shirt and on the back it says read it, rate it, vlog it. So I'm real happy to actually be a proud owner of this t-shirt now. I have seen some other booktubers have it and I just like this t-shirt because it's pretty much what I'm all about. The first official book that I'm going to show you is called Earth Star and it's by Janet Edwards and this is the second book that is after Earth Girl which I will just show you a picture of there. I do actually have Earth Girl on my Kindle but I haven't got around to reading it so when I got this in the mail I was a little bit excited and now I really actually want to read Earth Girl but this doesn't actually come out until August this year and this is about a girl called Jara and she is one of the unlucky people who is born with an immune system that cannot survive on other planets. She is derided as an ape by the rest of the universe and she is on a mission to prove that Earth girls are just as good as everyone else. So really super so excited to read this. The second book that I'm going to show you is another review book and this is called Forgive Me Leonard Peacock and this is by Matthew Quick who is the author of the Silver Linings Playbook. Now I haven't actually read the Silver Linings Playbook, I have seen everyone literally haul it and review it and say it's absolutely amazing. I don't know why I haven't got around to it, maybe it's because it is really really hyped at the moment so I might just like read it at some point later in my life. But this is released in August as well and it's about this boy called Leonard Peacock who is 18 years old and he wants to say goodbye to his really really good friends because they are the friends that have made him feel like a really good person. So it does sound like it's going to be a really really great read and maybe one of those like happy sad sort of reads that is going to like pull at your emotions and shove it around but I'm really really in the mood for a book at the moment that is like that. The next book I'm going to show you is another review book and this is called The Arrivals by Melissa Moore. This is released in July and she is the author of the Wicked Lovely series and this is like a different book completely. It's about this girl called Chloe. She walks into a bar and then she sort of like wakes up and finds herself in an unfamiliar world called the Wasteland. She discovers people from all times and places there and no one knows why they arrived there or if there is a way out but there is like monsters and creatures there so it does sound like a really really great read like of like mystery and suspense and like fantasy all involved in one book so I'm looking forward to this as I say I have read the wicked lovely books like the first two books in the series but that was like years ago so I might like reread those at some point the next book is another review book and this is called the edge of nether by J.A. Redmersky. Now this is a new adult book and I've had so many good things about this book and even on the back it says it's the hottest novel of the year and I'm just looking forward to this book so so much and it's about this girl called Cameron who has always known that she wants to have a less ordinary life and then tragedy strikes and she boards the next bus leaving town. On a journey of self-discovery, she meets another lost soul called Andrew Parrish who harbours his own dark secrets. I want to read you now! Oh! Oh, I should, I should never. I will read you. Yes, I will. Super, 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 super excited about this one. I just want to read it, like, now. But I want to read them all now. This is a tough decision. The next book is also a review book and this is called Atom and Eve by Jeff Yeager. This is a futuristic book about this 16 year old boy who ends up collapsing one day. He's in a coma and there's this flu thing going on in America, like everyone's pretty much catching this flu. And then there's this drug that has this weird side effect thing going on. So I'm just like, okay, now I want no more. But this front cover I absolutely adore and the publisher also sent me an Atom and Eve pen to go along with the book so 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 thankful I got those but I'm looking forward to reading this book. The next two books are also review books and they're together the first and second book which is Witch Struck and Witch Fall. Witch Struck is the first book, Witch Fall is the second. And these books are based in the olden times, as you can tell by the covers. And it is, as you may think and believe, witchcraft books. 
a badger girl who has those witchy sort of powers and it actually does sound pretty good and I have heard really really good things about them so I'm looking forward to reading these. And the final book that I'm going to haul to you guys, this is called Grey by Melissa Darnell, it's the first book in the Clam series and the second book is called Covet and the third book is called Consume, Consume isn't actually released yet but this book actually does sound really good, it's been on my wishes for like ever and I managed to get it for really cheap from a seller on Amazon and it says on the back here, bloodlust magic and forbidden secrets. Savannah is back in Taylorsville, high after a life-threatening illness, and she's feeling more like a freak than ever. People are looking at her differently, staring and giggling, except the golden boy Tristan Coleman, who suddenly can't keep away. Savannah's falling under his spell. So now I just want to know more about this guy called Tristan and everything about this book. So there you have it guys, those are the books that I've recently got in the mail, some books that haven't been released yet, and really exciting reads all the same. I hope you have enjoyed this haul guys, let me know in the comment box below if you're looking forward to some or all of these books, and let me know if you've read The Edge of Nova and your thoughts on it, because like, oh my god, I just, I, just, I just want to read all these books, so many books that I want to read and I keep getting too many really really good books lately like oh my gosh thank you for watching this haul I hope you have enjoyed it give me a thumbs up if you have and hello to all my new subscribers old and new and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you guys soon